Hello everyone, welcome back to GED. We're about to do the Maelstrom mission and we're going in guns blazing. I'm not going to be doing any talking in this episode as well. We're just going to enjoy some more gameplay for about an hour and uh, we'll see how amazing this game can be. Let's go. away from this laser. I'm ground beef. It's linked to a mine. So you're a brick, yeah? I'm brick. God. Felt like a fucking eternity that. Looking a little like we might have saved your skin. 
think we'll do a favor, hombre. Jesus, slow down, Mandy. I'll get you, but kind of caught me at a bad time. We ever meet again, I'll have you covered. Baby steps, V. Enemies watching.
One fucker less!
Let's get out of here. No begging, no debt, no corpo strings attached. And the flathead's ours. <laughs> That's the way to do biz, V. Now, sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. Got lucky today. Well, ain't you a ray of sunshine. But V, it ain't a matter of luck. You decide. Remember that. Ah, I love this town. A city of endless opportunity and brotherly hate. But if you got the cojones and you know how to use them, you can do damn near anything. Unless you catch a bullet, stray or not. Even then, you go out with a bang, right? And the street'll talk. Remember, it's a win-win. What now, Jack? What now? Now I go back, find Misty. We do something to make me feel alive again. They could have shot us up good back there. No two ways about it. Catch a fright back there, that you wouldn't make it back. <laughs> Shit like that don't cross my mind. But I am grateful for coming through. Don't forget to let Dex know we got his toy for him. Ahí lo luego. How things looking, Mr. V? Don't look. Got the bot. And how'd it go? Run into any trouble? And what about the Militech angle? Sure, of course there was trouble. Royce couldn't have given two shits of you and Brick had shaken on it. How'd you get him on board? You use the Corpo woman? Did it without Militech holding my hand. Didn't want to risk it. So how'd you get that cat Royce to hand over the flathead? Only way I know that always works. Brute force. You got some balls, Mr. B. What about the meet with Evelyn Parker? Still on the to-do list. Mm-hmm. That meet's the only thing that'll get you a chance at grabbing that chip. Parker will be waiting for you at Lizzie's bar. Good luck.
City of gay, 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 gay. City of dreams, seven you great. You live in your grave. City of dreams, city of gay, 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 gay. City of dreams, live in your grave. You live in your grave. City of dreams, city of scully in the gullies, yeah. Bully in the burrows, uh. Finna take your money, yeah. Uh. That ice you cuss me throw. Way too dumb to pack that heat. Way too ghetto, run the streets. Read that memo, live that green, all I need. Looking a little put out there, Input. Interest you in a preem BD? What do you got? What don't we got? Women and men of your dreams. Synaptic acting A-listers, no washed up virtue porn boy toys or blow up dolls here. Oh, tur stuff. It'll grip your heart and blow your nerves right out of your body. Pure bit-based ecstasy. That's why people come here. Clearly know how to sell it. Not a sales pitch, it's a warning. I'll give you one word. Bespoke. Not for everyone's synapses. Think you can handle it? Bespoke? Damn, that sounds promising. I get it, I'm in. Mm-hmm. Couple of things you need to know first. <clears throat> Severe penalties for any unauthorized recording. No drugs, no groping. Someone catch your eye? You do not grab them. You find them in the catalog, ask for a BD, and get yourself a box. I really look that green to you. Like I don't know. Mm-hmm. Doors open. Have fun, input. Welcome My, to Lizzie's. What a sweet little face you have. Hey. Get you something. What's on the menu?
you're looking for Evelyn Parker. You know if she's here? Who's asking? Name's V. She and I have a, uh, date. Well, V, it's a pleasure. I'm Mateo. Uh-huh. So, Evelyn? Club's big. Gonna have to look around. Can't do it for you. It's all right, Mateo. It's waiting for this one. Evelyn Parker. I knew it was you as soon as you walked in. Sense on? Only tequila I drink. <laughs> How would you know? I like to know everything about the people I work with. Either that or it was just a lucky guess. Why are we meeting here? Any particular reason? Actually, it doesn't seem much like your thing, this place. Mm -hmm. hmm. I'll take that as a compliment. Come on, know a place we can talk where ears won't prick up to listen. We'll be in the lounge, Mateo. Anyone asks, we're not here. So, what Nothing's can a wrong. horny girl really? like me do for Why don't you just tell me the like truth? You? I just told you. Dex had a load to say about you. Called you professional, effective, and trustworthy. I hope he wasn't overselling. You don't give a rat's dick what Dex thinks. We both know that. You have trouble accepting compliments? No, just think flattery's beneath you. Am I wrong? Maybe Dex is beneath you. Have you known each other long? Let's talk biz. I mean, it's nice, but I didn't come here to get my ego stroked. No, you're here to gain some knowledge. The life-changing kind. Well, now you got me all excited. Your target. I trust you know what it is. Relic. Secure your soul trinket. Key tech in the program, actually. We're tangling with Arasaka. Making this heist one dangerous, risky motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Arasaka's poured billions into personality transfer technology. But me, I just want the data on this one. The chip is tucked away inside Compeki Plaza, the hotel. You ever been? Classy Corp hotels? Yeah, no. Out of my price range. Hmm. Well, the decor's to die for. As you'll see for yourself. So where's this chip hiding, exactly? In a suite on the top floor. The room's occupied by Yorinobu Arasaka. Yorinobu Arasaka? He's in town? Don't you read the scream sheets? The media couldn't get enough of Yori coming to Night City. It was all over the headlines. Anyway, he's heir apparent to the Arasaka Empire. Saburo Arasaka's only surviving son. What? So Arasaka Jr.'s planning to grab the reins while in Night City? Only a handful of people in Night City know what the Arasaka's real plans are. Tell me you're one of them? Top dog like Yorinobu's bound to have an army on call. Hotel's probably a goddamn fortress by now, too. Yorinobu keeps exactly no hustle around. Not one guard. Got rid of them a long time ago. Huh. Why is that? Surely you know what they say about Arasaka Intel. Sneeze in Night City, and a blossom drops from a cherry tree in Tokyo. Yorinobu was convinced his Arasaka security detail reported directly to his father. Look, if you've got any spare aces up your sleeve, now's the time to show them. Now this should make your prick perk up. Yorinobu recently swiped the chip from an Arasaka laboratory. He's made a deal with Netwatch. Aims to sell it to them. Have you spotted my ace yet, or do I need to spell things out? 
Fine, so no Arasaka security on the device because Yorinobu whisked it away in secret. Now, where's he hiding it? Well, likely in a specialized container. One that mimics an organic neural environment. On the outside, it looks like an ordinary briefcase. And the case is... You'll see for yourself soon enough. Provided we're done gossiping about the Arasakas. Okay, what's next? Now comes the best part. Follow me. Got something for you. Should help you plan. Brain dance from Compeki Plaza. How's a brain dance supposed to help? Need facts, not thrills. <laughs> Think BDs are only good for fondling virtual tits? Jacking off to in those boxes? No. They can be a very useful tool. Good for analyzing details, human perception, even boosted, doesn't grasp. Exactly what you need. So what's on the tape? Yorinobu's suite. The glorious interior. You'll need to locate the relic yourself. Hope I grabbed enough detail to make that possible. Would you mm. like anything else? Of course. I, It'll be just uh, like you say. It's a bit... Bend or break to scum like you. Mm -mm. Uh-uh. Hold up. Yeah. Mean to say you recorded this? Mm-hmm. BD rec implant. Why, you object? Supposed to be Yorinobu's pad on the tape. Means you were inside. You know each other? How else could I get all this intel? I know him pretty well, actually. We have an arrangement. Strictly business. Suits us both, I think. Let's see this brain dance. I understand. Judy will help. She's a mox, yeah. too. Sorry, Besides, I didn't mean go to. Back, uh, I'll do whatever I can years. to fix it. V. Yeah. This is important. Judy's always been there for me. Always helped out. I trust her. But she's a mox, not the latest member of your crew. Try not to forget. Uh -huh. So, you'll be a good boy. Tread lightly. Mm. And keep that tongue on a leash. Relax. Believe it or not, I'm no stranger to tact. In biz or life. Mm. There you are. This is V. He's here for that BD role. And V, this is Judy. Best brain dance editor I know. Enough already. Gonna make me barf. Sensory SIG amps, acoustic and emotive wave monitors. It's top shelf hardware. Yeah, most of it's customized. Only thing factory are the casings. <laughs> Mod all this yourself? What do you think? Expression translator. Fuyutsuki, right? Thought the matrices on that series were fucked up. They were, but swapping out matrices is simple. And this was the only model that would support additional scan work. <clears throat> all right, all right. Compiled your BDF. What do you think? Will it do? Still pretty raw. But yeah, ought to do. Mm-hmm. V needs to get deep inside. That's most important. So, let's calibrate. Tune it to him. Believe me, I've dealt with worse. You should see the jig jig street porn we gotta contend with sometimes. So we drop V inside. Let him look, let him rummage around, right? How about it, V? Raw brain dance. Ever taken a dip before? Think I can handle it. Let's just do this. Right oh. Sit down, settle in, and we'll get you going.
Gotta create your sensory profile first. Okay. Hit me. Just promise me it won't hurt. It won't. Not this time. Now sit still. Look at me. Gonna run the analysis soft. Should feel a slight tingling. Mm-hmm. Okay, now let's set the optics and other sensory six. Look smack into these two screens. Pretend it's an eye exam. Am I gonna have to do this calibration dance every time? Not necessarily, but it's worth the wait. Give me two more minutes and you'll see exactly what BD analysis is capable of. One more sec. Need to get the pain receptor limiters in. Okay. All set. You need to test your profile first. Tossing in a sample BD. You can use it to get to know the editor. Now let me see. Where could we... Can't he just use my recording? Why are we wasting time? So we don't risk our necks? Sides won't take a sec. We got something here. Should be perfect. Boot it up. Mm-hmm. Let me give you the tailored version first. Let you get your bearings. Then we'll jump into editing mode. Be diving in in three, two, one. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. And remember, everything on full blast. They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. Okay, on you go. Down, everybody! On the ground! I wanna see you kissing the flooring! Muddy! Now, or I will fucking drop you, I swear to God! Whoa! Yeah! Hey! Uh, uh, now! Before I blow your fucking head off! Ah! Slow, deep breaths. Your cortisol and adrenaline spiked, but the soft activated your hormone blockers. Nothing happened. You're alive and well. That flash of intense shock. I can still feel it, I remember. Fuck, that last second. You could have warned me how much it hurts to die. Trust me, real death hurts much, much more. Not so sure about that. You'll be fine. Got everything set up? Let's switch over to editing mode. I'll sever the link to the BD Roller's sensory array. You'll be able to look around freely. Whole scene's yours. Full cam control in analysis mode, so move around, zoom in and out, whatever else you come up with. Think of it as your own little sandbox. So, analysis mode, you control playback. Can even pause when you feel the need. Then you use the editor console to unpause. Try it. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. Dream as hell, right? Well, that's not all. You can speed things up or rewind, whatever you like. Give it a try. Rewind. Got it, got it. Roll it back to the top. All good, neat. Now try fast forwarding a bit. Plan simple. Do nothing. Odd. Don't. Don't get creative. You go in. Snatch the cash. Get out. And we sell the details. Okay. You can also reset the recording. That'll take you right back to the beginning. Try it. Now for some fun. This here's why you came in the first place. In analysis mode, you get to view and even scan details of the enviro recorded by the BD roller. Focus on the heat, the gun this gonk gets from his buddy at the beginning. Now scan it. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. And remember, everything on full blast. They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. 
Okay, on you go. Okay, right here. Excellent. Let's move on. Now heads up. In analysis mode, you can ferret out background noise and conversations if the roller got close enough. This tech records everything, every little detail, even the sights and sounds the roller was never aware of. To see the sources of the recorded sensory signals, switch to the audio layer in the editor. Go ahead and try that now. Okay, good. Now you should see several sound signatures in the store. Choose one and hone in on it. Okay. Fuck! On you go. Ah, little shitheads! Go restock. I'll take the register. How about you suck a bag of dicks, eh? So, any thoughts? Unbelievable. Seriously. Like what's happening right next to me. Yeah, it's how BD recording implants work. They pick up everything, all the elements in the background. Then an editor tweaks them, makes them pop. Keep playing with the sound, explore it a bit. We'll move on when you get bored. Down! Everybody! On the ground! You wanna see you kissing the flooring? Money! Now! Or I will fucking drop you! Sometimes you can analyze extra layers in the raw. Stuff the roller's cyberware picked up. Like what? Ev's got Kiroshi optics that grab infrared. Meaning you should be able to grab heat signatures from her recording. Huh. Hella nice. Scanning works on peeps, too. Walk up to the wounded chick. Try scanning her. Alright, next thing. Scroll forward to the part where our artist gets a lead injection. Swear to God! Whoa! Now! Fuck you, fuck out! See that? They shot him and he never saw it coming. But you will. Here it comes. My favorite part of the game. See the blinking thing over the entrance? Surveillance cam. Must have caught our shooter. You'll see in a sec. Cam feeds to the screen behind the clerk. Roll back to where the screen's in the kid's field of vision, then scan it. Chumba shot him. Probably planned to all along. Must have got a nice slice of cred on the black market for a BD like this. BD freaks are ready to pay a preem for a real flatline. Anyway, if you've seen enough, you can exit. Yeah, it's impressive, right? Too bad most of the BDs we do here are only good for flogging the log. Anyway, you ready to do this? Look at your wreck? Dunno, I... Let's take a break. Still feel like that kid when... Oh, yeah. I think I'm done. V, there's no time. Get it together, please. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Just need T-Bug to link in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who? Running for my crew, security specialist. She'll tell me what to look for while we analyze. No problem, I hope. Actually, it is a problem. Not what we agreed, Ev. Judy, T-Bug's a professional, discreet to a fault. You can trust her. Why, cause you say so? Please, Judy. I'd never expose you to any danger. You know that. 
Call T-Bug and we'll dive in. Hey V, what's happening? Bug, listen. I got some useful footage from Compecky Plaza. It's a brain dance. Compecky? Oh, thought as much. Someone there with you? Judy and Evelyn, they're chill. They're helping me work through this BD. Uh-huh. All right. You gonna tell me what this is about? Listen, need your help. Got no clue what to look for once I'm in. All right, see if I can walk you through it. Jacking into your tech now. Mm, you've got to give me access. Opening port 1779. Secure protocol? Good, I'm going in. Should be getting my request now. Got it. You ready? A millisec. Okay, connection confirmed. Now some quick tip ice, and we're clear. Ready to dance. Fire up, Judy. All right, V, eyes open. Gotta find out where Yorinobu's keeping the relic. You look like a cut of fuckable meat, are you? Evelyn, she... I felt her fear. Sure got it under control quick, too. I said, no. They'll have my head for this. Then, you shall perish for a good cause. But, uh, Make yourself comfortable. I need a minute to... Listen in on that conversation, V. Could be something important. I said no. They'll have my head for this. Then. You shall perish for a good cause. But uh, make yourself comfortable. I need a minute to finish. Here in a drone, ventilation and cooling, servers, gotta be. Fancy doodads in here need to be controlled. I need a minute to finish. The program is still in the trial phase. We cannot take it to market as is. We shall see soon enough. Please speak with your father. He's taken a particular interest in this project. He can certainly explain the risks. My father's a tired, visionless old graybeard who thinks nothing will change and he'll live forever in his tiny frozen bubble. I should not even be listening to such things. You will listen to this. Saburo is an adult despot, utterly removed from reality. Stuck in some fossilized vision of a world that no longer exists, of a world that may never have existed. We have not seen eye to eye for the past 20 years. I am quite sure we won't now. Read the documentation carefully. The relic requires specific storage conditions. You must not provide them. In Heard that? Relic docs gotta be around here somewhere. Look for them. Sorry to make you wait. Business. Can't be stupid. Hmm. It wasn't long. Not even long enough for me to grow bored. Is everything all right? You seem tense. Edgy. A moment. It will pass. <sighs> I can get to work on that. Just one condition. You wish to make demands of me. Only one. Focus. On me. Oh, got any candy left? Stuff was pretty fun last time. Bedroom, nightstand. I've got an idea. Are you down the back? Yeah, that's yeah. Stuff that's highly nice. Oh, got any candy. Automated turrets. Latest scanner model. Systems all connected to the server. Can you shut them off? 
Externally? No way. Gotta get in, check out how they link into the system first. Shit, camera's packed with new tech. Motion sensors, heat sig activators, IFF. You skilled enough to kill it all? Mucho more than enough. Just need access to their subnet. Candy left? Stuff was pretty fun last time. Bedroom. Nightstand. I've got an idea. Be right back. Very nice. But come here already. Just a sec. Looking for the perfect thing. Ah, uh, you'll like this. What love is Until you learn this Loaded. Safety's on. Good to know, though. Once you're in there, don't forget about that iron. Manual details a special temp-controlled container. Relic needs to be kept real cool. So, Chip's gotta stay in the freezer. Yep, could damage it otherwise. Okay, switch on thermal layer detection in the editor. Should be easier to spot where your Nobu's keeping the chip. Geez. Looks like Mr. Arasaka had something to celebrate. You really think you'll find the chip in there? No way. Tim's too low. Could fluctuate. Nice try, though. Get as is. We shall see, Selena. Please. Right. Grab the heat sig. Matches the spec in the docks. Yorinobu's got the case here. Guaranteed. Mm-hmm. We got it. Good work. Looks like we got everything we need. Quit out of the editor. Get everything you need? <sighs> yep, that'll do. Thanks, Judy. We got it. Later, T-Bug. Nice work today. See you soon. I'll wipe the cash on your data. You were never here. I'll put it on Ev's tab. Portable device for handling BDs. I already uploaded your calibration settings. Not as sophisticated as what we got here, but should do the trick. And it keeps you out of harm's way. Clever. Speaking of harm's way, know what I see looking at you? Walking, talking corpses. Relax, I got it all under control. If you fuck up and they come knocking on my door, Judy, relax. That's not gonna happen. Evelyn, please, no shortcuts. You go that route, city will always win, so be careful. Of course I will be. Besides, we'll talk in a bit. Let's walk.
Well, what do you think? So, what now? V. Do this job for me. I mean me alone. No splitting the payout with anyone else. No middlemen. No decks. No fucking way. Dex took a leap with me. He trusts me. Now I'm doing the same. 50%. With cred like that in your account, you won't need Dex for anything. I'll think about it. If you need me, call. I'll send you my number. Okay. Good luck. Now go. I need a few words with Judy. No, don't cry. You got this, doll. Hey ladies and gentlemen, that'll do it till the next episode. Hope you enjoyed it. That was a lot of brain dancing. I know, not much action, but we'll see you in the next one.